This is Malaysia, and today we're beginning our 30-day road trip. We're going on a road, road trip! trip. <laughs> we're starting off in KL and we'll be visiting some of the most beautiful places throughout Malaysia. Starting off on the coast from the floating pink mosque of Putrajaya to one of the oldest historical cities, Malacca. From Chinsui in Genting Highlands to the Bo Tea Plantation in Cameron Highlands. And you'll never guess where we end up. A tropical paradise like no other. Our first stop is Cyberjaya, but we're already off to a rough start. We forgot to get a touch and go card, and boy will we <laughs> learn a lesson. <laughs> but who cares? For now, we've made it to Cyberjaya, where the spectacular views more than made up for it. Still, with no luck, today we visit Putrajaya, a beautiful green city and home to the floating pink mosque and this beautiful walkable bridge. <laughs> We're still looking for the touch and go card. We've like gone to several places like uh, Watson's, 7-Eleven. So hopefully today we do find some luck. We are going to go to a gas station, Petronas. Hopefully we can get our touch and go. Hopefully so it's not under construction, first yeah. of all. <laughs> first stop is going to be there and then yeah. we're going to continue a little bit, do a little bit of exploration yeah. today and go to one of the most famous say like bridges here in Putrajaya. And please give me some good news. I have the card not here. No, what they, did they say? suggested that we buy from Shopee or Lazada. They say if you're a local, you could use your IC card. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, so I just, I just asked, like, maybe I guess we'll just go ahead and pay cash at the tow booths. Yeah. So that's something that I guess has to be pre planned, you know, to be, mm -hmm. to be bought online just so you get delivered to you within time. Yeah. Oh, that's inter interesting. Yeah. Or if you're staying at a place for like a longer period mm -hmm. of time. I'm assuming like five to seven days I at one specific be, spot. Yeah. You can go ahead and order from Lazada and get yeah. the card and then you can always reload it as yeah. you go. Oh my gosh! There's so many monkeys! Hi! <laughs> oh, there wow. were just so this many is, monkeys on the so road! Can you believe it? Hilarious. And one lady actually got out of her car to, to go, uh, feed, to go them. feed them. Yeah. I thought she was feeding dogs. <laughs> and then I saw like a whole bunch of monkeys. I mean, I would say 40, 40, 50. Even like, it, it's a lot. They have you congregated. Could. Yeah. On the side, of, not just only on the side of the road, but they were on the road. Yeah, yeah. And, and, there, were, and there were people honking at them to, yeah. to, to get them up, up the road. I thought people were honking at us because they kind of <laughs> like, you know, stopped and kind of went to the right. But wow, yeah. there's so many monkeys. Yeah. I haven't seen monkeys outside of Batu Caves. I yeah. haven't either. Yeah. Wow. What a cool <laughs> sight. <laughs> wow. Uh, if you like, we could. Yeah, can we drive by again, please? Sure. Yeah, they're actually always crazy. OMG. I don't know, should I put my window up? Just in case, you know. This is incredible. This is so rare for us. Yeah. We don't get to see this every day. Nope. <laughs> that is why we're so excited. Yeah. Like a big, big pack. family. Yeah. Like a big pack. Basically, baby ones to adults. elderly. Yeah, elderly. Yeah. 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 They're all here, and, and uh, we see a couple of cars just mm -hmm. parked and like throwing like red apples, green <laughs> apples, oranges. oranges. And it's funny how they're uh, kind of carrying them and running away. Yeah, I don't know if, you know, people kind of do this sometimes, like, you know, bring the monkeys uh, uh, fruits. Something. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if I, uh, monkeys are a sacred uh, thing mm -hmm. in, I think, few religions, yes, I yeah. believe. So it could be that, but 
my goodness, these people are cool and they're <laughs> so nice to be thinking about animals in this way. Yeah. Wow. It's just so cool to see a whole bunch of monkeys all at once. I mean, I think yeah. we're uh, we're kind of protected in our car, so we're, <laughs> we're not scared. I would not dare walk. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, I, I rolled yeah. up my windows, <laughs> but um, it's just so cool. This is yeah. not something we get to see. No, it's uh, it's very foreign. And it's funny how they're jumping from tree to tree. Yeah. <laughs> and all you just just hear is the uh, the, just, the rustling rust of the, the leaves, leaves. <laughs> just from one branch to the yeah. other branch. And, and they're just sitting, dude, like we, we holding their apple. Yeah. Everything looks really clean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like well manicured. I, I really like the uh, pace of Sarpa of this area. Yeah. Like, just the way, it's pretty calm. It's not. It's way the, more relaxed. The roads than are much wider. Sure. It's because it's an administrative area, right? So you're not getting too much tourist activity, right? Yeah, so. Right. But I did see a glimpse of the Putra Mosque. Did you see it? What color was it? Pink. <laughs> well, I, I was questioning him because yeah. the administrative uh, building or the, the Prime Minister's, Prime Minister's uh, home, yeah. which is a huge administrative building, it actually looks like a mosque. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So all the uh, hedges are well maintained, yeah. the, the roads are super clean, yeah. and uh, yeah, the vibe is kind of like, even though it's like an administrative city, it still feels calm. Calm, yeah. And it's probably a really nice uh, day trip getaway from KL because you can even take uh, the transit. You can take the train over from KL to Putrajaya and uh, yeah, maybe spend a day or two just exploring the area, some of the famous landmarks, and then head back to KL. Yeah. It's, a, it's a nice little change of pace. Today we're here at Seri Wawasan Bridge, which is the main bridge here in Putrajaya. It's so huge! <laughs> yeah, we just parked. Uh, parking was like at a uh, complex and turned around just to see this massive bridge. Yeah. It is beautiful. And yeah. it's like so super accessible. Yeah. You can walk and you can cycle. On either side, so uh, very pedestrian friendly, I would say. And let's go walk on this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bridge. bridge. Yeah. It looks like a sail ship. Yeah. So so it, it is a cable stayed bridge, so there's a lot of cables kind of supporting it. And it has a forward uh, pylon. So basically, I mean, I don't know the engineer behind it, but it just, I mean, just the look of it is... <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a... Uh, Pretty amazing. It's a 240 meters in length. Yeah. And uh, it's actually a very important bridge because it connects uh, Precinct 2, which is the uh, core area where you're going to find a lot of government buildings, yeah. to the Precinct 8, the side that we're on, where all the uh, residential area is. So yeah, and it's like, it's like sitting on top of the Putrajaya <laughs> Lake, like, yeah. it just looks so grand. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's three lanes wide, a whole lot of walking space for yeah. pedestrians, nice. uh, and just being up so up close to it, it's so nice. And actually on the left. <laughs> oh my gosh! We're going there tomorrow, guys! I ruined the surprise! Wow! Nice! It looks so beautiful. Yeah. I love it. It, it looks so grand. These are some of the main reasons that people even come to Putrajaya. The beautiful bridge. And what we didn't tell you is that uh, it gets illuminated at night and it lights up with like changing colors yeah. and stuff. So we're going to try to stay for that and, and see how it looks at yeah. night. Yeah. But my goodness, and also the Putar Mosque is like number one on everyone's list because it is the rose-colored mosque. Yeah. And then it's kind of sitting on top of a lake. Uh, wow. I haven't even like fully walked on the Golden Gate Bridge and yeah. here I am at Seri Wawasan Bridge. Yeah. It looks, it's, it's very like, for me, like as a lady, it's very elegant. Yeah. It looks very uh, well built, like nice design. The fact that you're so close to the bridge itself, like you, you're talking right next to the cables. Yeah, you can it's just like you it. literally can go touch it or sit on it or whatever. I would say you cannot walk all the bridges around the world. The fact that this even has a two-sided pedestrian walkway, amazing in my opinion. And the fact that you get to get so close to 
the steel cables, which is protected actually by these metal brackets, I would say. There you go. Signing out yeah. from the Seri Wawasan Bridge here yeah. in Putrajaya. This is one of the must things to do uh, if you're going to be coming here to Putrajaya. We highly recommend you walking the bridge. It's highly right. walkable. Yeah. People are actually also on the sides mm -hmm. <laughs> kind parking. of parking <laughs> on the bridge to kind of take so in the, the views yeah. and this beautiful neon lights in the back. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, thanks. Thank you guys for coming along. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Next on We Wanderless Co as well as the world's biggest roundabout. Mm -hmm.